For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used two skeins of Red Heart Super Saver in coffee and some Karen 1 pound in Azure. As for tools, a 6mm hook, stitch markers, scissors, tape measure, and optional sewing needle buttons and thread. We're using five stitches for this project and they will be as follows. Chain, slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we are first going to grab our category 4 yarn, make a slip knot, grab our 6mm hook, and start off by making a chain that goes from our underarm down to where we want the bottom of the top to be, keeping in mind we will have a bottom border as well. And mine is going to be a total of 9 inches or 23 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we are going to block off that last loop that we just made. We're going to do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. You're going to prepare for a half double crochet and then into that loop that we blocked off or the third loop from our hook. We're going to go in with a half double crochet. So we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. From here, we're going to yarn over, pull through all three. Let's do this one more time. Prepare for a half double, insert into the next loop, yarn over, pull through yarn over, pull through all three. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down, but into the last loop we are going to be doing an increase. So I'll meet you guys back once we get there so we can do that together. We've just went all the way down, putting one half double into every loop that we had going down our chain, and this is our last loop. And we're just going to be doing an increase into that last loop. So all that is is putting two half doubles into that last one. So really quickly, we're going to prepare for a half double, insert one into that last loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. There's our first half double. We got one more to do, so prepare for another half double, insert into that same loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And this is our increase that we have only on this end, and we're increasing on this end so that this can go around our underarm and up so that it reaches the front of our body. And then once when it reaches the front, we're going to shoot straight up so that it can reach our shoulder. So we're only going to be increasing on this one side, maintaining the blunt part on the other. And in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to be doing a chain up of two that counts as a half double. Flip our work and we're going to be doing the same thing, but we're going into the back loops. So into this first loop, we are going to be doing our increase. We're going to prepare for a half double into this back loop that we have. Insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through, let's make that prettier. Insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. There is our first back loop half double into this first loop. We're gonna be doing another one into that same loop. So prepare for a half double into that loop, pull through, pull through all three. And then from here, prepare for a half double, go into the next loop that we have, only going in through that back loop, pull through, pull through all three, Prepare for a half double, in through the next back loop, pull through, pull through all three. And we are going to continue to do back loop half doubles going all the way down until we reach the end. Once we reach the end, we're going to chain up two, flip our work, and continue to do more back loop half doubles coming all the way down this way, remembering to increase into this last back loop that we have. And then we're going to keep doing that until this portion reaches the front of our body. And then I'll meet you guys back once we have that done. So I'll show you guys what to do next and also let you guys know what measurements I have. This is what I have now that I have our chunk that goes from our underarm all the way up until where it meets in front of us. And from here, I made sure that I ended on this increase point and I'm just going to make a chain that shoots straight up so that it reaches the tip of our shoulder. But really quickly, this chunk that I have right here from one end to the next is four and a half inches or 12 centimeters. And once when I had that, I put this up to myself and I measured from this tip all the way up to the tip of my shoulder. And that is actually going to be another four and a half inches or 12 centimeters. That's just a coincidence, I swear. But once when we know that measurement, we're going to make a chain that comes out to that measurement that we need. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do the rest of this. 
I've just finished up doing my chain that reaches all the way up to the tip of our shoulder and once we have this we're just going to be going back and forth with back loop half double crochets up until we are done with our shoulder chunk or until this shoulder chunk reaches where you want the inside of our v-neck to be so i'm just going to make a regular chunk of about an inch and a half or four centimeters because i don't want my v-neck too close to my neck so all i'm going to do is block off that last chain start off by doing a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet prepare for a half double insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off or the third loop from our hook and go in with a half double and since this is a chain it doesn't quite matter if we go in through the front loops or the back loops it'll all end up looking the same so go ahead and keep doing your half double crochets all the way down the chain until we reach the body portion and then we'll be going into the back loops from there so i'll meet you guys back once we get there so that we can do that together and then we'll keep going we just finished up going back down our chain with our half double crochets and we're at the body portion and i'm just back to remind you guys that we are going in through the back loops so prepare for a half double insert into that next back loop with a half double and once we make it to the end we're going to chain up two flip our work and work our way back with more half doubles and once we get to the end we are not going to be doing an increase so keep both ends blunt and i'll meet you guys back once we have our little shoulder chunk all finished up This is where I am at with our work. I have this little underarm portion and I also have this shoulder chunk that in the previous clip I mentioned was going to be an inch and a half or four centimeters. And so now that I have this, I'm actually going to chain up one and cut. Now that we have cut, now we're going to start working on the V-neck portion. So from here, we're going to put this up to ourselves and see how low we want our V-neck to start. I'm just going to start it about an inch and a half or four centimeters down from the top. And then from there, I'm just going to insert my hook into that back loop and start off with doing a chain up of two, half double crochet decrease, and then back loop half double crochets all the way down, maintaining this blunt end right here. So let's do that together. I've measured out my inch and a half or four centimeters and I've inserted my hook into that back loop and all we're going to do from here is insert our loop onto our hook, pull through and chain up two. That counts as a half double crochet and also secures in our work as well. And a really quick tip right before we get started, whatever side we ended on, which should be on the shoulder chunk, we're going to want to start on that side as well instead of starting on the bottom side it may make more sense or it may just be prettier but we're going to want to try to maintain this ribbing pattern that we're doing so since the last row we came up this way we're going to want to come back down in the opposite direction and now that we know that we can go in with our half double crochet decrease into the next two back loops so let's do that together we're going to prepare for a half double crochet we're going to insert our hook in through the next back loop yarn over pull through and then also into the back loop right after that yarn over pull through we're going to yarn over pull through all four loops that we have on the hook so yarn over pull through everything on the hook and from there we're going to prepare for a half double into that next back loop put a half double and we're going to continue to do this all the way down maintaining the blunt end that we have on the other side chain up two and do more back loop half double crochets until we have just three loops left in this row and then we're going to be doing another decrease into the third and second to last and then a regular back loop half double into the last row but i'll meet you guys back so that we can do all of that together we just made our way all the way down and we have just three loops left and now we're going to decrease into the third and second to last back loop and then put a regular half double into the last back loop so <laughs> what we're going to do from here is prepare for a half double insert our hook into the third to last back loop yarn over pull through into the second to last yarn over pull through we should have four loops on our hook we're going to yarn over pull through everything on our hook and then we just have one more back loop to do into this loop just like that and then once we have that we're going to do just another chain up of two that counts as a half double we're going to prepare for a back loop half double <laughs> So into this next back loop, yarn over, pull through. Into this next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We have four loops on a hook. We yarn over, pull through everything. 
and then from here do more back loop half doubles going all the way down and keep going back and forth like this maintaining this decrease that we have up here until we reach directly in the middle of our top and then we're going to work on our slit and then go up the other side so i'll meet you guys back once when we have exactly one half of our top done i'll let you guys know my measurements in the next clip and then we'll move on from there So I have done my half double crochet decreases all the way down from where we have our shoulder chunk and from this first row of half double crochet where we did decreases up here down to where I ended which is right in the middle of the top that we have I have a total of four inches or 10 centimeters right here and then once when I have this we're going to have to do a little bit of measuring and some counting so I put this up to myself and then I figured out how low I wanted our I guess slit but this is basically just going to be where our buttons are but i figured out how low i wanted mine to be and from the top all the way down to where i have my stitch marker it's going to be three and a half inches or about nine centimeters and i have inserted my stitch marker into that loop now that we have that we can chain up one and cut on this side now that we have that done the next thing that we're going to do is actually make a chain from where we have inserted our stitch marker going up making sure that we have the same length as this part that we have quote unquote cut out <laughs> and then once we have that chain we're going to work our way back with more half loop double and then once we have that chain we're going to work our way back with half double crochets all the way down while maintaining an increase along the side so that our v-neck on this side can mimic the one that we have on this side so it'll start to move up this way and then from there we'll continue to work down the body with more back loop half double crochets so let's show you guys where to insert your hook and then what to do from there taking a look at where we need to insert our hook what we're going to do is figure out what loop we're going to insert our hook into since we have ended on this side we would have chained up two and worked our way down this way so over here i'm going to insert my hook into this back loop we can take out the stitch marker because we don't need it anymore Ooh. and then from here insert our yarn onto our hook pull through and then we're going to make a chain of the same measurement that we have from where our loop is all the way up to this point that we have right here now that we are here we have our chain what we're going to do is block off that last chain we're going to start this off by doing a chain up of two that always counts as a half double crochet in this piece prepare for a half double crochet and then into that loop that we blocked off with our thumb or the third loop from our hook we're going to go in with a half double crochet but an increase so here is one half double crochet into that loop that we blocked off and we're going to be putting one more into that same loop so prepare for a half double go into that same loop with just one more half double and we're doing that so that we can maintain this V shape that we have on this side this side is going to be working our way up the other way and then once we have this we are going to put just one half double crochet into every loop that we have going back down our chain and then once we get to the body portion we're going to be working into our back loops with more half double crochets we've made it all the way down our chain to our body portion and this is going to be super easy just wanted to meet you guys back really quick we're going to prepare for a half double and then into this first loop that we have over here we're going to go into that back loop with a half double and we're going to keep doing this all the way down once we make it to the end we're going to chain up two maintaining this blunt end working our way back with more half doubles and then put one half double into every loop that we have until we get to this last loop and all that's going to be is we're going to be doing a half double into that last loop and increase so we're just going to be putting two half doubles into that last back loop and then chain up two increase into the next back loop and keep working back and forth just like that until we have the same length that we have right here so from right where we cut up to where we have our shoulder chunk right here and then i'll meet you guys back so that we can do the shoulder chunk together we are back with this front v-neck portion i guess we're gonna call it <laughs> and i am all finished i have the same amount of rows and it is the same length from this side all the way over to this side and if you guys just want to double check everything you guys can just fold it over make sure that everything is even because we want everything to be symmetrical because symmetrical is pretty 
And once when we have that, for me, since I'm actually starting this next part on this bottom section, I will be cutting and tying, but I'm only doing that so that I can maintain this half double crochet ribbing that we have. So I'm gonna cut and tie down here, and then I'm gonna count and see how many loops I have from this point all the way up to the end of my shoulder chunk. I'm going to be reattaching my yarn into this corner and then making that same chain going all the way up so that I can start on my shoulder chunk. So I'm gonna cut and tie and then I'll meet you guys back. <laughs> Now this next portion is going to be kind of a pain in the butt if you guys have actually ended the same spot that I have ended in. So we've cut and tied, we're going to reattach our yarn over here, we're going to make our chain, we're going to cut our chain, and then I'm going to reattach our yarn back down here so that we can maintain this row of back loop half doubles going up this way. Because if we don't, it would still look okay, it'd still be kind of ribbed, but it wouldn't be this exact pattern that we have. So bear with me if you guys want to do it another way, please feel free. I know that the, all this cutting and dyeing is kind of a pain in the butt. But once we have that cut, we are going to make a slip knot. We're going to grab our hook and then find this corner loop that we have up here. We're going to count and see how many loops we have on this side, going all the way up to the end of our shoulder chunk and make a chain for that same length. I have made my chain, and if you guys want to double check, we can always do, I guess we're going to call it the mirror test. Take this out really quick. Lay this on top of the other side that we already have, and make sure that it is all around the same length. And once when you know that, we can cut and tie this part that we have right here, and then I will be <laughs> reattaching my yarn down here and going back up with half double crochets. And since this is the shoulder chunk, we do not decrease. So I'm just going to be going in with back loop half double crochets until I have the same amount of rows that I have on this side. And then I will meet you guys back so that we can do this underarm portion together. I'm sure you guys are sick of me talking. I'm sure you guys already know how to do this. But I'm going to meet you guys back anyways, and then we'll get the rest of this finished up. We are all back. We've just finished our other shoulder chunk, and you guys already know the deal. We're going to be doing this underarm portion that we have right here, and I'm just going to talk you guys through it because you guys already know how. But luckily for us, we don't have to cut and tie since we ended down here. So all we're going to do is do a row of back loop half double crochets going up, leaving the last three loops right before our stitch marker. And we're going to decrease into the third and second to last loop and put one regular back loop half double crochet into the last one. And the spot where we put our stitch marker is in the same spot that we started our shoulder chunk on this side. All I did was measure it out and saw how many inches I had on this side, made sure I had the same amount on this side, and inserted my stitch marker. And we will continue to do this, decreasing all the way down just on one side until we have the same measurement that we have over here. Once we have this, we will cut and tie, and then I will meet you guys back so that we can do the rest. This is what I have once when I have finished doing the entirety of our front portion and the next thing that we're going to do is go in with the back and it's pretty much going to be the same thing except minus this entire <laughs> cutout that we're having. So we're going to do this underarm portion, make this shoulder chunk that goes straight up. Once we get to this blunt portion, we're going to keep this blunt and go all the way across until we get to this end and then we're going to do this underarm portion as well and then we can connect everything together. So really quickly, I know that you guys already know how to do it, but I've already started my back portion. I have my underarm portion. Everything should be exactly the same. Once when I get here, I'm going to make a chain that comes out to the exact same measurement as we have in the front. And then from there, I'm just going to keep it blunt on both sides, going in with back loop half double crochets going back and forth until we have the same length that we have from one end all the way down to this other end that we have for our shoulder chunk and then we will have another underarm portion right here. So go ahead and do all that and I'll meet you guys back. This is what we should have once when we have finished up doing the back piece and the front piece. As you guys can see, I have actually have them laying on top of each other and I have connected one side through the shoulder and through the side and have finished up a sleeve and now we can do this side together. So first we're just gonna be connecting the front panel and the back panel. So all that is, is going to be putting in our hook in through the front panel and also inserting our hook in through the back panel. Taking our yarn, inserting that onto our hook, we're going to pull through, making sure that our hook goes in through both loops that's on the hook. 
chain up one and single crochet and now we're just going to be going in with the row of single crochets going in through the front and the back so that we can seam this up seaming this up is going to be fairly easy the first thing that we're going to do is take a look at the first available loop on the front panel insert your hook and then into the next available loop that we have in the back panel insert our hook yarn over pull through and then we're going to yarn over pull through two just like a regular single crochet and we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we don't have any more loops to go into we're going to chain up one and cut and then we're also going to be connecting the shoulder chunk to the back piece that we have and it's going to be exactly the same thing just insert your hook into this corner and then single crochet making sure that we're going in through the front and the back and then go ahead and cut and tie and then i'll meet you guys back We've just finished up going in with our seam along the top of the shoulder portion and also along the side. And what we're going to do next is start working on the sleeve. So all that is, is we're going to be going in with a row of single crochet along the entirety of our sleeve just to clean it up to make it easier for our side half double crochets to be connected. So I usually like to start off our sleeves on the bottom. As you guys can see, this is our seam. So all I'm going to do is insert my hook into one of these loops. Doesn't matter which one because it's all going to come around full circle anyways. We're going to pull through and we're going to chain up one to secure. And then once we have that, we're going to be going in with the row of single crochet going all the way down. And since these are side half double crochets that we're going into, there's not going to be any real loops for us to go into. So we're just going to have to kind of find one, make it work and make our way all the way around. Once we make our way all the way around, we are going to slip stitch into that first loop that we made and then we are going to not chain up one and cut because we can just get started on the sleeve from there. We have now made it all the way around with our row of single crochet and we have slip stitched into the first one right here and now we are going to want to try this on to see how long we want our sleeve to be but we are measuring from the bottom portion so where our underarm is go ahead and measure out and see where you want your sleeve to be i have done that and mine is a total of five inches or 13 centimeters so from here we're just going to start off by making a chain that is whatever measurement we want once when we have our chain we are going to block off that last chain do a chain up of two because that counts as a half double crochet prepare for a half double we're going to insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off or the third loop from our hook with a half double crochet and then from here we're going to be putting one half double into every loop that we have going back down our chain now that we've made our way all the way down our chain with our row of half double crochet what we're going to do is insert it into the base and our base is just a single crochet row that we just went into right where our armhole is so we're going to start off by counting out two available loops it's not going to be this first loop because that's where our chain is into. So we're going to count out one, two, insert your hook into that loop with a slip stitch. And that's how we close off this first half double crochet row. And then how we're going to work our way up to the next row is slip stitching up the next two loops as well. So here is one and two. And then from here, we're going to flip our work and do more back loop half double crochets. But we are going to be doing an increase into this first loop. So we're going to prepare for a half double insert into that first loop with one half double and then two half double and then from here put one back loop half double into every loop once we make it to the end we're going to chain up two flip our work do more back loop half doubles and then once when we get to the last loop into this row since we're working our way back we're going to be doing an increase which is two half doubles into that back loop count up two loops slip stitch into that second to close off that row then to start up the next row we're going to slip stitch up the next two loops and then continue to go down with more back loop half doubles and we're going to keep doing that all the way down until we reach this seam that we have where we connected our front portion to our back portion and then we're going to be working down the other side of our sleeve which is going to be the exact same thing but we're going to be doing decreases right where the base is but i'll meet you guys back once when we get here so that we can do the decreases together we've made it back and we are all the way up to our seam with just one half of our sleeve <laughs> and once when we get here we're going to be doing the same thing that we did here but instead of increases we're going to do decreases so really quickly we're still going to be slip stitching up the next two loops to work our way up to the next row once we get here we're going to flip our work prepare for a half double and then into these first two loops we're going to be doing a decrease so into this first back loop insert your hook pull through 
and then into the next back loop, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops on the hook. And that is it. Go ahead and keep doing more back loop half doubles going all the way down once we make it to the end, chain up two, and do back loop half doubles going back, leaving the last two loops, do a decrease into the last two loops, slip stitch into the base, and then keep that pattern going all the way down until we don't have any more loops left in our armhole, and then we can attach everything together. We've just finished doing the second half of our sleeve, and now what we're gonna do is connect it with a row of single crochet along the bottom, just like how we did the side and the shoulder portion. The only thing you're gonna wanna make sure is that for the sides and the shoulder portion, make sure that your seam is facing outwards the same way that this seam is going to be, so that once we flip it inside out, all of the seams are on the inside and it looks nice and clean on the other side. But other than that, we're going to start it off together and then I'll let you guys go for it from there. But from here, we're going to insert our hook in through this first loop that we have on the front panel and then into the first loop that we have on the back panel. Once when our hook is through both, all we're gonna do is pull through, single crochet. And then from here, we're going to go all the way down, putting a single crochet in through the next available loop on the front and the back panel. And once we get to the end, we're going to cut and tie, and then you guys can do this same sequence. So seaming up the sides, the shoulder, a single crochet row around the sleeve, and then doing the sleeve on the other side, and then I'll meet you guys back. We have just finished up doing both of our sleeves, or our sides entirely, <laughs> and now we're going to go in with a single crochet border with our base color around the neck so that we can get started on this neck portion. So this part's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to just talk you guys through it really quick. We're going to take our base color or whatever color that you guys want to use. We're going to grab our same hook, insert it into this corner, insert our hook and pull through. And then all it is, is it's really like ridiculously simple. We're just going in with a row of single crochet along the entirety of the neckline that we have. And the only tip that I have is we're going to be going from where we have regular loops to side half double crochets to regular loops. And all I can say is going into each side half double crochet, what we're going to do is just try to find a loop for us to go into. Nothing fancy needs to be happening, nothing pretty. Just make sure that you don't put too many single crochets in one area so that it doesn't bunch up. But other than that, have at it. Once we meet back over here, we're going to connect with a slip stitch, chain up one and cut, and then we will bring in our secondary color and start working on the rest. Now that we've made it all the way around with our row of single crochet with our base color, next we're going to grab our secondary color, and the next part is just going to be going in with a row of single crochet right on top of our base color. So extremely, extremely easy. All we're going to do is insert our hook into any one of the single crochet loops pull through, chain up one to secure, and just put one single crochet into every loop that we have going around the entirety of our collar. Once we make it to the end, we are going to connect with a slip stitch, chain up one, and cut. This is what we should have once when we have gone in with our secondary color along the entirety of the border. I do have my buttons laid out, but they are not sewn in, and a quick something or other that I want to say is I am <laughs> extremely sorry. If the background or my hands are blown out, it's because we're working with such dark yarn. I've learned my lesson and we will either fix it or just not use dark yarn anymore, but please bear with me for this video. But now that we're here, <laughs> we're gonna need to figure out where we want our buttons to be, what side we want them to be on. And now that we've figured out what side we want our button to be on, what we're going to do is is on the other side, we're gonna be going in with back loop slip stitches, going back and forth for just a little bit, not too long. We just need it to be a little bit bigger than the button and also the placement of the button. So obviously if the buttons are gonna be out here, we're going to need to make a panel that's long enough to reach from this side once we bring it together all the way over to this side. So that is honestly going to have to be all up to you. You guys will have to figure out the math on that, but mine are going to be just a little bit closer so that we don't need to make a connecting piece, I guess is what we're gonna call it, too large. But once when we have figured all of that stuff out, 
We're just going to be going in with a little chunk of back loop slip stitch rows just from this corner down to this bottom chunk that we have right here. We are now all back and we are ready to go in with our rows of back loop slip stitches so that it can house our buttons. Super simple. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into this bottom corner that we have. Insert our hook, insert our yarn onto our hook. We're going to pull through. Once we have that, we're going to chain up one just to secure it in. And then to do our first back loop slip stitch, we're going to insert our hook in through this back loop. Yarn over, pull through everything on the hook, just like that. Let's do just one more together. Into this next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. And we are going to keep going back and forth like that until we have this little connecting chunk that is long enough to house our button. And then once we have that, we are going to chain up one and cut. And just to let you guys know, my little chunk that I'm going to make is going to be a total of one inch or five centimeters. We're now all finished up with this little chunk that I said we were going to do that was about an inch or five centimeters of back loop slip stitches. And I have already attached two of my buttons, as you guys can see. I will not be showing you guys how to attach the buttons because I'm not a great sewer, so I don't have any actual techniques for you guys. But all you're going to do is place however many buttons you're going to use onto this little chunk that we made for ourselves. And then just make sure that it is secure when you guys sew it in. That's it. Go ahead and do all your buttons and then I'll meet you guys back. This is what our button chest portion looks like once when we are all done. And then once when we have this, we're now going to shift our attention down here to the bottom border. And from here, we're first going to start off with our base color and we're just going to be going in with a small border of single crochet along the entirety of the bottom. Getting started on our first single crochet bottom border, we're first going to insert our hook in through any one of these side half double crochets that we have, but I do like to start on the side where the seam is, but that's just my own preference. I'm going to insert my hook, insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through. From here, we're going to do a chain up of one. And this first chain up of one, I don't like to count as my first loop. So into the same side half double crochet that we're in, I will be going in with two single crochets. So here is one, and then here is two. Once we have our two single crochets in through this first side double half. Once we have our first two single crochets into our side half double crochet, we're going to take a look at our next side half double insert with just one single just like that and then into the next side half double there's going to be two single into there and then the one after that we're going to be going in with one single and we're going to keep alternating like that all the way around until we reach our first loop that we made for ourselves we're going to insert with a slip stitch chain up one and cut we're now back and we have just finished up doing our first row of single crochet along the bottom of the top that we have in our base color. Our second row will be another row of single crochet, but with our secondary color. So I'm not going to show you guys. You guys already know how to do your single crochets, but just insert your hook in through any one of these loops. Does not matter which one and start single crocheting all the way down. Nothing fancy, just one into every loop all the way back around. Once you guys get to the first loop, you're going to insert your hook into that first loop with a slip stitch. Now that we've made our way all the way around with our row of single crochet in our secondary color, we're now going to start working on the bottom border. So in order to do that, we're going to need to figure out how long we want our bottom border to be. Mine's going to be a total of two inches or about nine centimeters. So once we know our measurement, we're going to start off by making a chain that comes out to that length. Once we have our chain, we are going to block off that last chain that we did. We're going to do a chain up of three. That counts as a double crochet. Prepare for a double crochet. Insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off from our hook or the fourth loop from our hook with a regular double crochet. Then from here, put one double crochet into every loop that we have on our chain going back down towards the base. We've now finished up putting one double crochet into every loop that we have on our chain. So now we're going to connect it into the base with a slip stitch. So what we're going to need to do is count out the next two loops that we have in our base. So here is one, here is two. We're going to insert our hook into that second with a slip stitch. And now our first row is all connected. And then once when we get here, we're going to slip stitch up just one loop. So there's one, 
flip our work and then into every loop that we have we're going to be going in with back loop slip stitches so insert your hook into the next back loop yarn over pull through everything keep doing this all the way down we'll stick together for two seconds because we are right here once we have this we're going to do a chain up of three flip our work do back loop double crochets back down towards the base once we get to the base we're going to count up two loops slip stitch into that second and then we're going to slip stitch up the next loop in order to work our way up to the next row and then work back down with back loop slip stitches and keep going back and forth like that until you have made your way all the way around the entirety of our top. I've just made it all the way around with doing our bottom border and as you guys can see I don't have any more loops to go into. So now we're just going to cinch it all in together and it's going to be exactly the same way that we've done pretty much everything else so far. So what we're going to do is just make sure that the way that we flip it is going to have the seam on the same side as the pretty much everything else. So what we're going to do is pinch the two corners together and since my work is facing right side out, I'm just going to fold it backwards and then now I can work because our other seam is along the inside right here as well. And I'm not going to bore you guys with these details. We're just going to do a single crochet in through the front panel and through the back panel at the same time going all the way down once we don't have any more loops left. We're going to chain up one and cut. Once when we are all done doing the bottom border, we have connected everything. We are all done with this top. The last thing that we have to do is just weave in all of our ends. And now we have woven in our ends and this is our finished top. This top is so cute and so fun. I love that it's perfect to wear at home when you're chilling and crocheting or slip into some skinnies and you're good to go. If you agree with us, take a minute to give this video a thumbs up. It's right beneath the video. It lets YouTube and I know you're enjoying the videos and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow and gain traction. But if you didn't like it, give this video a thumbs down but be sure to leave me a comment letting me know why you didn't like it or if you have any questions requests or if y'all just want to say what's up i usually reply pretty quick if you love it do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already it's right beneath the video it'll let you know when there's a new video uploaded to the channel get you a bit more priority when it comes to requests and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow so we can keep making all these great videos for you guys if you're already subscribed, huge thanks to you guys, but please, please hit that notification bell to know when there's a new upload for you right away. And share with your crafty friends, because every bit helps. Links to the yarn and the hooks will be in the description, and if you buy something using those links, that also goes towards helping out the channel. And lastly, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest links are down there as well, and as always, thank you so, so, so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.